guys, it's Yoda Joe 93 I hope everyone's having a great day. And I thought that we would talk about She-Hulk today. So I just finished the finale last night, and I want to give you my thoughts on the finale, but also I want to give you my thoughts on the, um, the season as a whole. So let's talk about the finale first, and then we'll go over the season as a whole. So I have a love-hate relationship with this season finale. This is not the worst season finale I've ever seen, but it's not the best either. So the best way to look at it is I enjoyed this show for what it was. The finale tries to go for a more fourth wall breaking craziness finale than a consistent satisfying story finale, which in my opinion was frustrating because you get connected to, the, to these characters and you're interested in the story and then you get things where you're like, oh my gosh, this is happening, but it's not as good as you were hoping it was going to be, unfortunately. Like, you get, there, I won't spoil it, but there is a fight scene, potential fight scene between two characters that we've been expecting to see fight and it's undercut for a joke and the humor that they think they're doing, it doesn't always land the way that they're expecting it to and it's kind of disappointing. Um, so... If I score the finale of She-Hulk, I give the finale a 7 out of 10. It's above average, it's a fun time, and there's some cool guest star appearances, but it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, unfortunately. As far as She-Hulk as a show, I'm going to give She-Hulk... So I enjoyed two-thirds of the episode. Episode 8 was my favorite. The finale was pretty decent at times when it was being fun and what it was and enjoying Jen and some of the concepts there. Um, I was disappointed in the finale that we didn't get a certain fight. I was also disappointed that a certain that they used a robot instead of a certain character that could have made the fourth wall breaks much more fun. So that was a little disappointing. Um, She-Hulk as a whole, I'm going to give the entire show a... Let's see. All of She-Hulk I'm going to give a 6.5 out of 10. There were some episodes I liked, and there were some that I didn't like. And overall, the show to me feels pretty messy. I wish it would have been more story version, but I am interested in seeing this character, and I am intrigued in seeing better writers handle the storylines differently and seeing how things go. But overall, She-Hulk is, is fun. And if you guys enjoy something that's fun, definitely check it out. It does have things that make it pretty fun to watch, and I recommend you check it out. Have a great day, guys.